And I'll be honest, guys, look at this whopper. It's like the size of my head. It's time to settle this debate once and for all. Are you team McDonald's or are you team Burger King? In this video, we're gonna go over the price point, how many calories they are, and which one fits best for you and your diet. So you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Lewis Hoffa's show. You know how we do. All right guys, so super excited to try both McDonald's and Burger King. Growing up, I used to love both. I will be honest, I do favor one over the other. However, I never really had it side by side. My last video when I did the Chick-fil-A versus Popeye's video, I thought I was gonna side with one side, but in reality, I side with the other. So if you missed that video, go ahead and check that out. Maybe I'll be surprised again today. Let's open these up. All right. So guys, I got the Big Mac and medium fries, and over here I got the Whopper and medium fries. These are my two top favorites growing up, and I think if you wanna compare the best of the best, it's the Big Mac and the Whopper, am I right? I know a lot of my friends, they like the Quarter Pounder or Dover Whopper with cheese, whatever, but I just wanna keep it as simple as possible. Also guys, I got my two favorite sauces for both, sweet and sour and honey mustard. And the same over here, sweet and sour and honey mustard of Burger Kings. Pretty excited to try it side by side. But before we get started, this is the fitness channel. So we have to go over my four rules. The first rule is I follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories come from foods just like this. The second rule is I don't skip my training, I don't skip my workouts, I don't skip my cardio. I personally like to go in the morning, get out of the way, but you can go anytime you like, as long as it fits you and your schedule. And the third rule is we eat our maintenance calories or below. So when you eat your maintenance calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat above your maintenance calories, you gain weight. If you're below it, you lose weight. But hey, what if you don't know your maintenance calories? Well, my friend, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringthestress.com slash tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just type in your info and you'll be good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel, unless it's vodka. All right, guys, the price point for each one for McDonald's without the drink, because we like to save money as well, is 10.06. And for Burger King, the Whopper and the fries, no drink, is 12.49. So this one is almost $2 less than the Whopper. Interesting, but enough about that. How does it taste? First, let's start off on the right side, the classic Big Mac. So guys, coming at 590 calories. And if you wanna know the rest of the macros, I'll leave them right here. And yeah, enough talking, I'm starving. Let's get started. Ooh, look at this. How can you go wrong? with a classic Big Mac. It's pretty big too, right? I think I said this in my last video. I thought it got smaller, but I think as we got older, my hands just grew bigger, so it looks smaller, but I think it's the same. So growing up, I think I told you guys I would never get the Happy Meal. I would always get the Big Mac. I was a fat kid growing up, and now I'm still a fat kid at heart. Enough talking, 590 calories. Let's do this. Mmm. Oh yeah. Guys, how can you go wrong? I understand some of you guys like the quarter pounder with cheese and fish fillets and chicken sandwiches, which are all pretty good. But if I had to pick my go-to, it's a classic Big Mac. Mm. Next up, let's try the classic Whopper. Even though McDonald's used to be my go-to, every once in a while I crave a Whopper and it's just the same thing, nostalgia. My dad would always buy me the Whoppers. So super happy for this. Oh, wow. So the Big Mac, as you can tell, I should have done a comparison before I bit into it. Lengthwise, the Big Mac, but smaller. And I'll be honest, guys, look at this Whopper. It's like the size of my head. Did they blow this up? I don't remember it being this big. Wow, they even hooked it up. Four, pe three pieces of tomatoes, lettuce, mayo, ketchup, pickles. However, this one has 670 calories, so almost an extra 100 calories over the Big Mac. All right, guys, enough talking. Let's bite into this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is a hard pick, guys. Even though I had these both hundreds of times, just having them side by side for the first time, it's kind of hard to pick. I'm not going to lie. Mmm. Yeah, so even though the McDonald's meal is $2 cheaper than the Whopper, if you can compare, again, the lengthwise for the Big Mac, but then the width 
for the Whopper. You know what I'm saying? Let's try the fries next. So this one, McDonald's is 320 calories and the Burger King one is 370 calories. So just by comparing both of them, McDonald's has fewer calories than Burger King. So if you are counting your calories like I do, just keep that in mind. So cheaper price and cheaper calories. All right, let's try it side by side. Let's see which one has the best fries. So as you can tell, the classic McDonald's fries is a little thinner and then the Burger King one is a little thicker and bigger too. Let's try this. So I think I said in a couple of my videos, but McDonald's has this distinctive taste. So they have like scientists or whatever, perfect your taste buds. So it keeps you want to coming back for more and more. All right, let's try Burger King's now. Mmm. Hold on. If I could be truthfully honest, just having it side by side, I kind of like the Burger King ones better. Just because it's thicker, it's more crispy. Maybe because I picked up McDonald's first over Burger King, but these ones are a little bit more cold and flimsy and a bit more chewy. Whereas these Burger King ones, they're a bit more thicker and more crispy. Mmm, yeah. Next, let's go to my favorite sauces. McDonald's sweet and sour is 50 calories and Burger King sweet and sour is 45 calories, so. Not that big of a difference, but just let you know in case you happen to care. This is McDonald's, this is Burger King's. This one looks a little bit more, like it has like chili peppers or something like that, like a little red stuff in it. This one just looks like regular, just sweet and sour sauce. So let's try sweet and sour. Not gonna lie guys, can't go wrong with fries and sweet and sour sauce. Now let's do Burger King's fries and sweet and sour. I don't think I ever had sweet and sour Burger King. I always got ketchup. Hold on. I mean, they're very similar, so it's just very hard for me to pick one. Guys, this is crazy. If I could be honest with you guys, I'm usually team McDonald's just because I grew up eating it. I went there more often than Burger King. But man, something about Burger King right now, just tasting it side by side, I'm kind of like changing my mind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Oh yeah, guys, and also keep in mind, I don't know if this is a huge factor or not, but McDonald's drive through line, no matter what time of the day it is, there's always a long line. Whereas Burger King, every time I went, Odd hours, usually not during rush hour. There's usually no line or like one person in front of me. So I don't know if it's marketing. I mean, don't been around longer. They just have better campaigns, but I don't know, man. Hold on, man. Let me, let me, uh, let's do another bite taste, taste bite. All right, try this. Guys, I will be honest, this is so hard because I really thought the Big Mac's gonna try out the Whopper, but just having it side by side, I'm not saying the Whopper is better now that I'm trying it side by side. However, it's harder to pick now that I have both next to each other, you know what I'm saying? But for sure, I like Burger King's fries a lot better. Again, they're more thicker, more crispy. McDonald's more thinner and chewy, even though they have those scientists like perfected to your taste buds. I don't know. Oh yeah, guys, rule number four, we don't drink our calories on this channel. So I have a nice Diet Coke. Zero calories, zero sugar, not sponsored. <sighs> you can't go wrong with Diet Coke and Pizza Hut. Not Pizza Hut, <laughs> McDonald's and Burger King, am I right? All right, let's try honey mustard next. So McDonald's is 60 calories and Burger King is 90 calories. So for some reason, this one's 30 calories more. Okay, so this one is really different. So this one's McDonald's. I don't know if you can tell, let me move my head. But it has more, it looks like more honey mustard. And this one looks more darker, more factory. I don't know. What you... All right, let's try McDonald's fries. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Now let's try Burger King's. I'll be honest, guys, there's like slight differences. But sometimes it's very hard for me to tell, you know what I mean? With the sour sauce or with the honey mustard. So either or, I don't think you can go wrong. Just sometimes the calories are different depending on locations where you go. So if you are counting calories, just keep that in mind. Especially with the sauces, especially with liquid calories. Let's go on my final verdict. 
So for the burgers, Big Mac over the Whopper, I would have to say the Big Mac, but only by a tiny margin. There's not one or the other that I favor more. And I might be biased. Again, I just grew up on the Big Mac. The Big Mac always has my heart, you know what I'm saying? Just having it side by side, I thought I would love the Big Mac a lot more than the Whopper, but I really like the Whopper a lot. However, with the fries, again, the classic McDonald's fries, scientists, all that good stuff, but just having it side by side, Burger King takes the win. And with the sauces, they're all the same. And of course, you can't go wrong with a nice Diet Coke. Not sponsored. Usually I ended off the videos with questions of the day. However, this video is getting kind of long, so I don't want to keep you guys waiting. I know you guys got places to see, things to do. For everyone that's been supporting me this far, you know, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Even though some of my friends out there watching right now don't comment, but I know you guys are watching and thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Bring Shreds, where we're all about moderation, not deprivation because life is too short for chicken breast, brown rice, and broccoli. Don't forget to bring the shreds, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.